Welcome to Singapore. Today, Naval News brings you another exclusive access. We take you on a tour of ST Engineering's Benoy Shipyard, which specializes in ship design, shipbuilding, and ship repair for both the commercial and the naval defense sectors. We are meeting with Harris Chen, Executive Vice President, Head of International Business at ST Engineering Marine Business. Harris, good morning. Thank you so much for welcoming us here. Good morning. Well, welcome to ST Engineering Marine. Um, where we are standing here um, is one of the two shipyards that are located in the western part of Singapore. And this is where we do shipbuilding as well as uh, ship repair and conversion of both naval as well as commercial ships. Harris, can you please first give us a brief overview of your facilities and capabilities? The first thing that I wanted to show you is something that I'm very proud, which is the showcase of the various ship models that we have built in SD Engineering Marine. So every ship model that you see behind us uh, is a demonstration of our proven track record in building those ships. Right? You will see a variety of naval ships as well as commercial ships, ships from length of about 80 meters to ships that is more than uh, 200 meters, uh, we have the track record to actually build them in ST Engineering Marine. Harris, we just stepped in an area with uh, many engineers, many computers. Uh, where are we? Well, welcome to uh, ST Engineering Marine's uh, Engineering and Design Center. Um, this is where all shipbuilding begins, right? In the EDC, we develop the drawings for the how design. We draw the general arrangements. We draw the basic and detailed design arrangements of the ship that we intend to build uh, for the customers. Uh, in the past, in this place, uh, which is newly renovated, uh, we will have a puzzling of people leaning over a table, you know, over a paper drawing, right? Um, because uh, there is a centerpiece, which is the master uh, drawing, for which everybody is trying to provide their inputs uh, for the mechanical part of the ship, for the ele electrical part of the ship, for the hydraulic part of the ship. But that doesn't happen anymore, right? Today in ST Engineering, we are fully digitalized. That's why you see a, a somewhat quiet uh, work environment here, but everybody is uh, furiously using their mouse and using their computer to actually do, the, do, the, do their drawings. So what you can see here is an engineer um, that is uh, working on our Falage Tree uh, project. Uh, it is a project in collaboration with Abu Dhabi Shipbuilding um, to deliver a four Falage Tree offshore petrol vessel to our customer uh, in the UAE. Right. And you can see um, he is looking at uh, 3D drawings um, and he's able to then dissect various parts of the 3D drawings uh, to make sure that uh, he's able to understand and see whether it meets the customer's uh, requirement. The most important part to me when it comes to digitalization is about our ability today to have a single source of truth. Right. And that is very important to ensure that um, everybody who participates in the ship design and the drawing is able to then mark down when they have made the changes, what are the changes that have been made, right? so that when the eventual final drawing is being sent uh, to the yard, we will be sure that it is the most accurate and the most updated a piece of uh, ship design drawing that is being sent to the yard for us to add in cut metal as well as to do welding on various parts. Harris, what are you using VR for? Uh, well, uh, I'm very pleased to uh, show you uh, one of our demonstration uh, room here. Uh, here you can see one of uh, my engineers uh, donning on a virtual reality uh, goggles. Uh, we use virtual reality to help the end user be able to visualize as well as to have a sense of the design that we are proposing to them. Uh, we will propose, in this case, uh, for the bridge design, a proposal of what we believe to be optimal for the end user. But every Navy, every end user have their own very bespoke uh, requirements, right? We use VR to allow them to then be able to visualize and be able to feel the distance between the consoles, the distance between where they sit, where they operate, 
to where they think they will need to actually touch certain buttons uh, on the bridge, right? And I think it is really wonderful that we are able to embrace technology, digital technology, and bring a VR to bear for which they can then use VR to be able to do, do that, 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 uh, that process and, and be part of that design. Yeah. And I believe you are using this uh, as well for things like critical design reviews that are a very significant milestone in uh, the run of a project. Yeah, indeed. So far, we have uh, uh, allowed uh, the UAE Navy uh, end user to actually try this out, and they love it. You know, they say that they wish that such a technology uh, can be available to them much earlier when they actually design and uh, put on their requirements for earlier uh, naval ships. And I'm confident that uh, in the future, many of our customers will be delighted to actually have such a feature. Harris, you mentioned earlier to me that uh, your yard is a smart yard. What do you mean exactly by this? Uh, right now, we are in the yard uh, control center. As you can see, this is the heart of uh, how we carry out the smartness of our yard. Uh, but before that, let me just say that uh, in SE engineering, um, artificial intelligence is second nature to us. And therefore, in implementing the smart yard, we make sure that we embrace artificial intelligence in the way we actually monitor uh, the yard operations. So on the screen here, you can see that uh, we monitor the operations of our crane to ensure that uh, whenever it's in operation, it is safe. Uh, we also use artificial intelligence to predict uh, when we need to do maintenance uh, of the cranes. In the middle screen, you will see uh, a video uh, extracted from the various cameras, uh, the hundreds of cameras that we have deployed uh, in our yard. Um, and we use video analytics to determine whether there is any security uh, intrusion, to determine whether there's any fire that may occur uh, in the various part of the yard operations. And then on the right side, you will see a list of all the jobs that uh, is meant to be carried out uh, today, as well as this week. Okay? And we make use a lot on digital technologies to prompt us in terms of which of the work schedule is behind to, to make sure that uh, we put emphasis uh, on those work schedule to make sure that we continue to be able to deliver our projects on time. And uh, ultimately, all these uh, new, you know, new technologies combined, uh, how does that benefit uh, ST Engineering's uh, marine business? Does it make you more competitive compared to like, local competitors? Indeed, we believe that productivity generated through automation will be a key differentiator for us because this means that we can uh, deliver projects on price and on time. And when it comes to maintenance project, we can then achieve the quickest uh, turnaround time. Uh, for our customers. All right, we just stepped in the fabrication zone of uh, the Benoit shipyard. In this uh, workshop, uh, SC Engineering Marine Division is conducting uh, steel cutting. This is where basically new ships uh, are taking shapes. Uh, so what can you tell us about uh, this specific area and uh, your production processes? Sure. Right now, we are in the production house of s Engineering uh, Shipyard. Uh, as you can see, behind us is our plasma underwater uh, steel cutting uh, machine. Um, our yard is not just an ordinary yard. Uh, we are a smart yard, uh, a yard that uh, has sophisticated uh, automation, a yard that have very streamlined uh, processes, um, and a yard that have pervasive connectivity so that we can actually track the help uh, status of all our workers operating here. Harris, as we, as we walk through uh, the various uh, production uh, workshops and production steps uh, at your Bonoy uh, yard, I could not help but notice many advanced machines such as this one yeah. and actually very few yard workers. How come? Yeah, indeed. Uh, in ST Engineering Marine, we are prepared to invest in automation. So the auto panel line that you see behind us was only recently installed uh, last year. And we are prepared to uh, install uh, automation to make sure that uh, we can uh, deliver contracts uh, to our customers uh, on price as well as on time. Such a machine uh, has helped us to increase our uh, throughput by no less than 80% and also help us to gain productivity by more than 40%. And, uh, well, this is important on many levels, right? I mean, first, you're in Singapore. Real estate is very limited. 
your yard is very compact, so you need those new ways of uh, streamlining your production in, in order like, to speed up production and uh, optimize your performance. Yeah. That's correct. Uh, because of our national policy, we have a certain limitation in terms of uh, foreign workers that we can employ. Um, so therefore, it is only natural for us to invest in uh, automation to make sure that we can overcome this uh, policy. As mentioned by uh, Harris Chen, uh, the Bonoy Yard uh, doesn't just uh, conduct ship design and ship building, it's also conducting uh, ship repair activities. An essential part of these uh, MRO activities is uh, the maintenance of uh, engines. Harris, uh, what kind of uh, activities can you conduct regarding uh, engines, marine engines here at the Bonoy Yard? Here we are at the Marine uh, Engine uh, Service uh, Center and what you can see behind us uh, is the MTU engine. Um, ST Engineering is one of the few um, MTU certified uh, service center in this part of the world and we are very proud to partner with MTU uh, to able to do servicing as well as a major overhaul of uh, MTU engines. You mentioned you're certified, uh, how is this important? Uh, oh, this is very important to uh, customers who operate uh, MTU uh, engines because they want to make sure that uh, uh, they have a certified workshop to be able to do defect verification as well as to do maintenance um, professionally um, and more importantly is uh, to be able to make sure that uh, it can uh, last for as long as it's designed to, to do so. And in terms of maintenance, so you maintain uh, the Republic of Singapore Navy vessels, of course, but also foreign navies' uh, vessels. Uh, I believe you've been uh, in the past uh, successfully maintaining uh, U.S. Navy and uh, Royal New Zealand Navy vessels. I indeed. Um, many of our work here uh, is in support of the Republic of Singapore Navy ships uh, engine uh, servicing, um, but we are also open to other navies uh, to bring their engines uh, here. Um, in our track record, we have done so uh, for Brunei Navy, uh, for Thailand Navy, and for other navies uh, operating in this part of the world. Harris, as we stepped outside, uh, standing in front of one of your synchro lift and uh, also with a frigate uh, and a conducting MLU uh, as a backdrop, can you please first tell us uh, some of the recent projects you have successfully completed here at this uh, yard? Yeah, sure. Perhaps I answer your question by uh, showing you the uh, Singapore Navy uh, Formidable Class Frigate. This ship was actually built in uh, Bernoulli Shipyard uh, 20 years ago and uh, is now back to uh, Bernoulli Shipyard for its uh, midlife uh, upgrade. Right? Not just uh, the Singapore Navy Frigate, we have also successfully delivered the Independence Class uh, littoral Mission uh, vessels and many more ships that we have built for uh, Singapore as well as for the region. So another project you are currently uh, working on that's uh, very important uh, for ST Engineering Marine Division is the MRCV program for uh, the Republic of uh, Singapore Navy. Uh, you conducted uh, killing for the first ship uh, last year, the steel cutting for the second ship uh, more recently. Can you tell us more how is this project uh, progressing? I'm happy to, re to say that uh, the project is progressing very well. Um, the first MRCV was uh, queued late uh, last year uh, in this very uh, Benoit uh, yard. Um, the second MRCV has already started to cut uh, metal um, and the project is progressing very well uh, on time and on schedule. And uh, I can attest this because uh, while, while we cannot uh, show it on camera, I saw uh, the hull of uh, the first ship is uh, progressing very, very fast. And again, it shows how impressive your facility is, uh, despite the fact it's very compact. Uh, thanks to your automation, uh, you're able to streamline your production and uh, uh, speed through uh, shipbuilding projects at an incredible speed. Harris, thank you very much for uh, your warm welcome in your facility. I really appreciate it. And uh, I look forward to see uh, how MRCV will progress in the future. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much for being here. Yeah. It is my pleasure. Thank you.